say you combine two of your passions being confirmation and um and and bitting i mean the the mouse confirmation is quite a a novel a, a novel yes. way of approaching bit fitting whereas before we would just go it's running away like a seam train throw a piece of twisted wire at these don't i'm joking <laughs> uh, you know so whereas now people are going oh well let's go, let's have a look inside and see what's going on and yes. you don't think about horses as having internal confirmation but of course no. they do exactly exactly right so when we when we did look at confirmation we always sort of spoke about the external features of a horse's face but there was never really that much discussion about the head and the mouth in terms of how that might affect choice mm -hmm. of bit so that was something i really started to 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 take a look at and i have to admit like with anything, I've learned a lot from the horses. Horses are great teachers. So <laughs> over these years, I've had my hands in a lot of horses' <laughs> mouths. Um, in, you know, it sounds like, a, have you ever seen that thing that says, describe badly what you do? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know? yeah. Okay. well that's quite yeah. literal, but that is literally yeah. how it's done. And, um, you know, and then, so I've got to feel and see a whole lot of different things. I've okay. been exposed to a lot and I've learned a lot from that. And I have to admit, some things that I probably would have taught as gospel, maybe when you were a student, I've come to realize. Do I get a refund? <laughs> <laughs> maybe I've come to realize. Um, you know, we 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 need to we need to reshape our thinking a little bit about it, and or develop our thinking a little bit about it. And um, so so to get back to to confirmation and the horse's head. So my analogy for it is is, and it's ironic because I've got to think about people's feet, but. Everybody has two feet and we all have, well, most normal people have 10 toes. But the shape of them, that's the contour footist, of them. That's very footist of you, <laughs> is, Any amount of toes is fine. It's oh. very different, okay, oh. between different people. And as a result, the different type of shoe that you might like or that you find comfortable, I might not find comfortable. And Even I've if found, we were the same size. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I found that to be a little bit the case or with the way I describe it for horses as well. They're basic mouth confirmation is obviously the same but it varies a lot in its features from horse to horse to horse mm. so so just to give a drop of theory that's the lecture in me here we go um we the, the and i just want okay, i just want to interrupt and just remind anyone that's tuning in and we do have some listeners if you would like to pop any questions for dawn take advantage of having the lecturer in the room you can ask her, try and keep it limited to bits, ideally, <laughs> but um, confirmation questions, I suppose. But um, please pop your questions in the comments box there of the live chat. Sorry, carry on. Yeah, so, um, so any bit or bridle system puts pressure on one of eight places in the horse's, on the horse's head and in its mouth. So I like, this is also kind of how I digested it for myself. For our external, that's the pole, the sides of the horse's face, the corners of its lips, and the curb, the, the curb groove or the lower jaw. And then inside the horse's mouth is the tongue, the bars, and the roof of the mouth, okay, okay. predominantly, and to some extent the lower jaw inside the horse's mouth. Now, what I started to look at is to see how those features in different horses differ significantly. Okay, so in other words, for example, the shape of the, the roof of the horse's mouth. Some horses is very curved. Some horses have got very pro prominent ridges there. Others is ruler flat and very fine ridges. The corners of their lips are very different. Some are super thick. Some are even the full width of my thumb. That's really? how I think. That's amazing. Really. And, and turned in. So there's a lot of fleshiness on the inside oh, of, the horses, okay. of the horse's mouth. And, um, and the wrinkles or the grooves in the corners of the lips. Some are very superficial. Some are very deep just as some examples, and the bars of the horse's mouth, that's the bone the bit puts fresh on. Some of them are very fine, some are flat, some are arched, some are ridged, and so there's a lot of variety. And what you sort of start to see is, or what I've come to believe is, is that to some extent how the horse experiences the bit pressure is influenced by their head and mouth confirmation must be yeah. so i have to say one other thing though is is um and i think it's important in context of tonight's talk is we all know from the horse world that there are lots of things that contribute to to absolutely any horse's performance at any time it's a holistic it is a yeah. completely holistic thing and that's always important to realize and always important to be aware of